Now I'm going to show you some functions with restricted domains. Okay, uh, let's show you this one first. This is just basically uh, y equals x. Okay, where x can be any real number. That's the implied domain of y equals x. Yeah, f f of x equals x. Yeah, you get that. So r is the implied domain. In other words, the all of the x values which make sense. And f of x is unrestricted. Okay, it's unrestricted. You understand that, don't you? Because it's ha it has all the values of x which make sense for it. Now, but have a look at this now. Okay, look at this. Now, this is g of x now. g of x is the same function except I've called it g of x a different notation because it is different from this in the sense that the domain is now restricted. x only goes from minus 1 to 1 inclusive. Okay, see that? A restricted function. So g of x is the same function, but it is a restriction of f of x. You're getting this? Okay. And they will do this to you in uh, exams. They do it all the time, okay? So you better get used to the idea that they can restrict the domain on you. This one here is also uh, the same basic function, but it's h of x equals x. Called it something different because we've got a completely different domain again. See, this is where x is restricted to only positive reals. And you'll notice the open dot here because 0 is not included as a valid x value for this particular restricted function. Okay, so h is the same function as f and g, except that it is a different form of restriction of f of x, yes? And as a last little comment, these domains are a subset of r. Well, of course they are. Okay, the last example now for this section 1b, which uh, was all about relations and functions, wasn't it, guys? Okay, so what have we got? For each of the following state, the range and sketch the graph. Okay, let's have a look. This one here. Now, we this is all in this new gobbledygook notation, yeah? So, this is a function where from 2 to 5, not including the 2, and including the 5, map to their corresponding y's, f of x being 3 minus 2x, yeah? Now, this is a particular nasty little trick of VCAR I've noticed over the last few years. They put this kind of question in, in the multiple choice. They've got a round bracket here, a square bracket there, and this particular example I picked out because it's got a negative gradient. And you will find that when you work out the range, the order of the round and the square, when you quote the range, will be reversed, which is a, they're trying to do your heading, guys, but don't let them. So I'm saying f of 2 would be 3 minus 4, which would be minus 1, and f of 5 would be 3 minus 2 times 5, or 3 minus 10, which is minus 7. Now, that point is not included. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, and this point is included, all right? Now, that matters because we're trying to work out the range of this thing, yeah? So, therefore, the range, the range, because it's a straight line graph and there's no funny business wobbles or curves or turning points or anything, we can say the range is going to be minus 7, to 1. But now, which one's included and which one isn't? See, this this 7 is included, so it's a square bracket, and the 1 isn't included, uh, so it's a round bracket. So you'll notice what I was trying to say was the, the order of these brackets has reversed, you see? That would do a few students' heads in in the exam, wouldn't it? Particularly if they were a bit stressed out. So I thought I'd show you that one right now early in the course so you can get used to the idea. So there it is, you see? Part B. All right, what do we got here? This is a quadratic, an upside down quadratic, uh, and we're going from minus 2 not included to plus 4 included in the x department, and we just have to sketch the thing and state the range. All right, uh, g of minus 2 would be, uh, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, because minus 2 all squared is plus 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. Good. Uh, g of 4 is going to be 4 minus 4 squared, which would be 4 minus 16, which would be minus 12. Okay, we've got uh, that all sorted. But this one is a wobbly one because it'll have a maximum between those two x values. So if they ask you for the range of that, for goodness sake, don't make the mistake of um, saying it's going to be from minus 12 to naught because it's not going to be because they'll, they'll never give you a question that easy. This point is not included. And uh, this point is included, so for heaven's sake, draw the graph and work it out. And, oh, look at that. Wow. This is when x is minus 2, not included. Not included. This is when x is 4, included. 
Yeah, I should have labelled those, but um, just forgive me for this once. That'd be coordinate point. Oh, look, I can't help myself. I'll just do it with an abracadabra. Abracadabra. Look at that. So here they are, labelled as they should have should have been in the first place. My apologies. And I've drawn the graph, and you can see quite clearly, ladies and gentlemen, that the range is not from minus 12 to naught because the turning point was in between those two points. It's a quadratic, you know, it wobbles around and has a maximum. And what is the range? Have a look, have a look. You can see quite clearly that it's not from minus 12 to naught looking at these two points here because it's not a linear graph, you know, it wobbles around, it's quadratic and it has a maximum in between those two points. So what is the range? Yes, yes, it is minus 12 to 4. Please don't make that mistake. Uh, VCAR likes to pull that stunt as well in the multiple choice sections, okay? So be aware. Finally, over the screen, uh, using CAS to sketch a graph with a restricted domain. I've just used the first of those two examples on the previous screen, the linear one for you. And there it is, okay? I've called it F1 of X. It's 3 minus 2X, but you'll notice I've got this restriction in the domain here. Now, you need to know how to do that on your CAS device. It's absolutely essential that you know how to do that. Uh, and there it is, okay? It's not particularly uh, marvellous because they haven't put the uh, end point there as an open dot. I don't like that about the Inspire. Really, that's an, that's an open dot because uh, X is greater than 2. So there's no open dots and no closed dots. They just show you a line. So it's a bit underwhelming, but still, it's uh, that's what they've got, yeah? All right, well, thank you for all of that, and uh, we'll see you next time. All the best.